I did not plan on making a video on the Sanderson Hauser flow meter, but after powering it up, I had to share some of the features it has. At first, right away as I powered up, can I say just how appreciative I am of this auto-rotating display? I have worked on a lot of flow meter systems in the past, and I can't tell you the times that I'm having to look at a flow meter upside down and trying to either read it or program it. Now, even before I did that, though, when you open up the box, there is some incredibly clear instructions on how to install their app. I turned on the camera on my phone and immediately I got the QR code link and installed the Anderson Hauser Smart Blue, then opened it up and I'm gonna allow it to find local devices. Mainly it is gonna use Bluetooth to find this flow meter. Accept the privacy policy. And it found the DMA flow meter. I click it and it's gonna ask for a username. The default username is going to be admin, and the password is going to be the serial number. Now, if you forget all that, then take a picture of your box, because everything I just told you is written right here. And while that's kind of cool, it wasn't enough for me to make a video on, because, okay, I've just got a flow meter sitting here. I don't have any water. Well, using this app, we can actually simulate a flow signal. I am going to go down to Diagnostics, and then Process Value Simulation, I'm gonna to switch to On, and I'll click OK. And now I can go to my flow volume and put in 20 liters per minute, and now it shows 20 liters per minute over here. And since this is IO-Link enabled, the next question is, how hard is it for me to pull this data onto my IO Link Edition for this trainer. And the default IP address for your IO Link module on your trainer is going to be 192.168.115. And I've actually changed mine to 195. And then if I go to inputs and I acquired it to the spare channel on our IO Link trainer, which is channel three, we don't have any valid data. But that's because by default, these are configured for basic digital inputs. So we're going to go to our parameters and channel three, and right now it says digital input. Now notice I can't actually change it. To change it, I need to log in. So I'm going to log in. And if you haven't changed your password, which you should, the default password is all lowercase password. Now I have a drop down for my operation mode, and I'm going to select IO link without validation and click right. And now if I go to my input data, I see I have some values going on here. And if I go to the Smart Blue app, if I change my flow to 30 liters per minute, then we see quite a bit of numbers changing here in our input data word. Now the issue is, I don't know what any of those numbers actually mean. And to interpret that data, you need what's called an IODD file. And for as much as Anderson Hauser has flexed their features, here's where Turk flexes their features quite a bit also, is I'm just going to go to my IODD configurator, and I'm going to go to port 4. It knows that it's a Pico mag. And if we go to process data, you see that, yeah, we got a lot of craziness going on. Now to get this data into something we can understand, we need what's called an IODD file. So if I had the file, which you can go to Anderson Hauser's website and get it, you would hit the load IODD file. But Turk also has this web search button. So if you're connected to the web, we can simply click the web search button. It's gonna go out, find the data. Now we can go down to our process data and we can see the actual data coming across. Now notice here, it is in liters per second coming across on the process data, but on our parameter tab, we can actually select the units that we want. So I'm on liters per minute, and that means it's gonna be reporting liters per minute. Now let's take it a step further because typically you wouldn't stop here right at the IO Link Master webpage. You would be going on to some type of PLC. So let's say we were going to this Allen Bradley Compact Logics over Ethernet IP, if we go to documentation and then Ethernet IP, 
We can see our assembly instance and size. And if we go down here, we can see where channel three is going to start. So our data is going to start coming across at word offset 50. And we have videos on how to configure this over Ethernet IP and Modbus TCP. Well done, Anderson Hauser. I have worked on a lot of water systems, and I can't tell you the times that it would have been so advantageous to have been able to simulate a flow meter and very smooth integration over IO Link also.